can grow YouTube show. Hybridization, you know, so many of us are connected to our plants because we feel this ownership and we, and we feel this um, need to take care of them. What more way to feel ownership over a plant or over your plant collection to feel that bond than by literally facilitating its creation? Mm -hmm. So how did you, what was that path to curiosity with your first hybrid? What did that look like for people who might be interested? Yeah. So it started with me literally being bored to death of the plants I could buy. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I love crashula. They come in lots of shapes and sizes, lots of different geometries, colors, textures. It's kind of like this just mosaic of variety in, within the genus. And I thought, man, there's a lot. I was viewing my plants like a chest of paints and paintbrushes. I was like, man, there's a lot of things I could do here. I could come, I felt like Legos. I was like, I could build something with these pieces. Mm -hmm. And I had two Crashula that were flowering. It was a Crashula Ascensus and um, a Crashula Deceptor. And they were, the Deceptor's gray um, and a little chalky. And the Ascensus was short, pointy leaves and lime green. I thought, what would a, what would a child of these two look like? Yeah. So they were flowering and I, the flowers are really small. So I took a beard hair. This was a trick I learned from an old grower who uses cat whiskers and beard hairs to get into the flower, to get the pollen. So it's a funny joke. I like to show people, I'll pluck a beard hair and I'll go into each flower back and forth, collect the pollen, make the seed. And then this is the, just the painful process of making a hybrid, but you don't know if it worked at first. Um, The flower has to dry. And then you take the flower and you lightly crush it over white printer paper. It has to be white because the seeds are really small and you need that contrast to see. Mm -hmm. So the tiny brown seeds fall on the white paper and it looks like dust. And I'm like, I think I see seeds or it could just be the crushed flower. I don't know. So I took that and I sprinkled it over soil, waited about uh, three weeks for germination, saw little green sprouts come up and I said, oh my God, oh my God, I have seedlings but you don't know if it's a hybrid yet. So then I take care of them meticulously. I bet, I bet. Get them to a year old and I start seeing some new leaves. I'm like, oh wait, okay, okay. I think I see both parents. Then you have to wait at least three years to see the fully mature plant. And then you have to wait for the flower. The flower is where you really know what the hybrid's full potential is. So it's about a three and a half to four year period before you can say, I've made a hybrid. And that was a process for me. And I made my first hybrid and I thought this is cool as hell. I got it registered, um, got it submitted. And then I was like, I'm going to make a bunch of hybrids. So that's just what I do. If I have things flowering, I'll just cross pollinate and you make a brand new plant. It's a lot of fun. And you're right. There's a spiritual connection when I'm looking at a plant that I made. Like these two these two plants regionally don't even exist within like a hundred miles of one another. And somehow I helped facilitate a child between the two of them that doesn't exist in nature, but it is entirely natural. Like I didn't have to do anything crazy. I just cross pollinated them. Like, like if nature had its way, it could have happened. It just hasn't happened yet. And that connection, I'm like, wow, I'm just a little tiny, like piece in this night, this puzzle of nature. Oh my God. So cool. So how many hybrids do you have now? Uh, I have the Crashula Thrashula, <laughs> which that. is my first. And then I have a hybrid between Crashula Susanna Susanne and Crashula Pubicens, which my followers have called Crashula Susan's Pubes. Yes. I don't think I can undo <laughs> that. Um, I have a Crashula Tate that I named after my little sibling Tatum. Um, and then I have some Drosanthemum uh, hybrids, some Glottophyllum hybrids, um, and then do you I have sell new... them or do you just keep them in your greenhouse for fun? Um, I do. I keep yourself. them. Mm-hmm. They, they're so slow growing that selling them isn't worth the time. Yeah. Um, I have gifted cuttings. There are, there are only three people in the world that have crashula Four, four people that have crashula thrashula. Um, wow. I've given two away to patrons and then I went to a plant swap and I thought, man, it's, I, I was like, I'm going to be such a baller if I roll up in here and I go, here's a plant that literally no one else has. Literally. Um, I just wanted to show off. I was like, everyone's going to be bring stuff that like we've all seen. I was like, I want to roll up in the joint with a plant that I'm like, literally I made this. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, oh I have, that's... yeah, I have about six hybrids. Do, I think, so 
Tango. <laughs>